Hey, hello guys and welcome back to this brand new and kick-ass video on my channel in VR and today I am going to show you how to play GTA Online with the Vive or the Oculus Rift. So if you want to learn more then keep watching, this is going to be really interesting. So let's go and let's jump right into the metaverse. May I welcome you into my beautiful apartment, I really like this place, I love to hang out here on GTA 5 Online. But we are not here to watch this funny television show. We are here to talk about how you play GTA 5 in VR and much more. And I can't wait to give you guys some uh, inside details on how you do it. So first of all, you need a nice computer. That's right, you need at least a 980 Ti to run this game on a proper frame rate when you play it in VR. And maybe a 1070 or a 1080 would be cool too. But they are not out yet, but maybe when you see this video in the future, you can actually buy that card. I would definitely go for that one, because it is super duper fast. Gotta go fast, that's my motto. So that's something you really need. Don't try to play GTA 5 with a crappy computer in VR. Doesn't work out and you will get motion sick. And you don't want that. So when you got that, you need a program called Farpax. And that's the main key to play this game in VR. So Farpax is a 3D injection program that allows you to play GTA side by side. You also get head tracking with this program. So you can look up, down, left and right. And you got a lot of more uh, functions you can use. So when you got Farpax, you just run that program in the background. And then you launch GTA 5 and it just starts into your VR headset. It just works. So you can play it with an Oculus Rift. You can play it with a Vive. You can also play it with other funny headsets that will come out. So... Yes, you can just try that and it works fine because every VR headset is basically a monitor. Anyway, it's kind of boring to just walk around in my apartment all the time. Let me go to my garage and get a nice car and tour through the city. Let's spin those wheels. Can't wait. Let's go into the elevator. Here we go. Yes. I don't have that much cars here right now, so don't get like too excited. We got a few here. Let me go for uh, the muscle. I like that. It's not that fast, but... It's a beautiful car, so let's get outside. So there is one last thing you need when you want to play this game in VR. And that's a field of view mod. As you can see, my vision is zoomed out. I can see much more. I can see my steering wheel and I can just look outside. I can also look up a bit, but the view is blocked. So you can't really look that much up and down doesn't work either. That's kind of buggy. But yes, if you drive around this way with a field of view mod, you see much more. I will put a link in the description to that field of view mod. You can download it there. It's fine. You can use it online without getting banned. It's the same for far packs. It works okay. You are totally fine by using it. So yes, the field of view mod is in the description. As I said before, I would really recommend you to use that. It's kind of hard to explain you guys what a field of view mod does, but it just feels more natural when you use it. It feels more like you are the person who is driving this car, who is crashing against that NPC, you know. And you can see much more of what is going on in front of you on the road. Yeah, I just crashed, but that's because I drank too much whiskey and I just can't drive in this game. So, when I get outside of my car, I will show you what the effect is with the field of view when you hold a weapon. So when I hold this weapon, it is so zoomed out, as you can see. Compared to a casual game of someone else, this looks much better, I can tell you that. So when I aim down my sights, it's much easier. As you can also see, I am aiming with my head. But you can also aim with your mouse, because my mouse and my head tracking are bound to each other. So when I would look around, I can correct myself by pulling my mouse. So to be honest, I use my mouse a lot in VR, because if you play a uh, dead match, for example, in GTA 5, and you want to play that properly, I would go for a mouse. So you just shoot people with the mouse and when you drive a car, like for example now, I would just look around. Don't look around with your mouse because that feels fake. Just do it with your head. So that's the main problem you have with far packs and other programs. Your head tracking is bound to your mouse and your uh, headset. And that kind of sucks, I know, but there's no other way to play this game like that. There is positional tracking, there is actually a mod that you can use for that. It's called Grand Theft VR, and there will be a link in the description. If you use that, you can uh, like look outside of your window, peek around walls, stuff like that. But beware, that mod is not working at the moment because that guy didn't update it for a while, and it's not working with the Vive. I tried it, and my whole game was bugged out. So just wait for an update, and then you can use that. 
So I have never tried that mod and I am not sure if it works. I did saw one video of it, so it is possible to play it with that. But that would be awesome, right? Just peek outside of your plane, for example, enjoy the uh, view, stuff like that. That would be awesome. But as I said before, haven't tried it, so I can't confirm it works. So another problem you have when you run this game with far packs is that when you are playing it and you want to, for example, call a uh, car or a plane and you want to pick it up, you can't see where you are going because you can't see your map, you can't see your health bar or your ammo because Farp X zooms in your image. So there is a nice uh, feature for that. When I click on my scroll button, you can't really see it in the video right now, but the screen will zoom out and there will be a cinema mode then that allows me to look into the corners of my screen and then I can just uh, simply call, for example, a uh, plane here with Pegasus. Let's see if they are uh, not busy at the moment. Here we go. Hello, Pegasus yes. Lifestyle Management. How can I help you? So now I can just look into the left corner and get a Bestra, for example. Great. The aircraft is waiting for you at our nearest airfield. We trust you'll be happy, sir. Thank you. So now I am in the cinema mode. I can also just uh, go to my map and uh, set a GPS. So a good thing is if you play this game a lot, you just know where the airport is. So you don't really need a GPS, but I will get a GPS now. And we are at the airport. I know that was super fast. Let me take this ramp. It's fun. Here we go. Whoa. Nice one. So this could make you really sick if you are not used to this. But for me, it's fine. I have been playing GTA 5 for 60 hours in VR now, and it is cool. So before we go into the plane, I want to give you one tip. When you customize a car, don't get these windows because you don't see that much when you play in VR that way. So yes, that is a quick tip. Also, don't wear sunglasses uh, in GTA because then this happens. Let me show you that. Let's go into my inventory and then go to this. And let's see, you have to go to glasses. You can see that in your view like this. So now it's kind of orange. Uh, well, it depends what you like. If you like to wear glasses in GTA 5 and play it in VR like that, you can do that. So yeah, it's it's a cool uh, Easter egg I really like. So let me go to my uh, no glasses again. None. Here we go. That's more like it. And now it's time to enter the Beshra. What a beautiful plane. I love it. Let's get in there. This is an animation, by the way. You can't look around right now. It's like a cutscene. It's kind of strange. So don't try to look around that way. Makes you feel funny. I am also wearing a... Uh, Helmet right now as you can see like on the bottom you see a part of it and on the top It's kind of strange to wear that but it's fine. You can't really turn that off in GTA. So let me uh, go up And here we go. I can actually hear the wheels going into the plane You have to listen to the sound because you can't see it This is like the best thing you can do in VR. Just fly over the city and enjoy the view Seriously, it is great. So uh, let's make a little stunt here this could make you sick as well. I am still fine, but maybe when I take off the headset, it could actually get me a little sick because when you go back into real life, you realize that this wasn't really real life at all, you know? Your brain got tricked. That's basically what I'm trying to say here. So anyway, let's go to my ship because I wanna try a boat as well. So uh, let's go there. Oh, we are going to fly upside down, fine. I can handle that. It's kind of confusing to fly like this. I can still see my map because I just switched into cinema mode. So we know where we are going. So now let's jump out of the plane. Here we go. And let's skydive. Whoa. And this is super high, I can tell you that. And you can't really look around that much. So let me get my parachute. Here we go. Rainbow parachute confirmed. Hipster. So let me land my parachute. Right here. Oh, this is going to be tricky. And we made it. What a hard landing. But we did it. Wow. So my plane crashed. And my boat is kind of dirty now with blood. So this is my ship. And it is super expensive. I can tell you that. It's around 9 million. And we even got our own helicopter. A VIP helicopter. I like it. So let me go to the back of the ship. Because we got some small boats here. And jet skis. We can use. So let's try a jet ski and I will show you how that works. You can also dive. Uh, wouldn't recommend that in VR just because of this reason. So when you want to dive down, you can just look down with your uh, headset or do that with your mouse. But when you want to go up, you have to do this, you know, if you want to like get a realistic view of it. And that's kind of strange. 
I don't like that. So when you dive, just use your mouse and it's not that fun as it looks. So let me get my jet ski and the sun is uh, rising up again. That is great news. Without a Field of View mod, this would be a disaster. I can tell you that. You would only see a little part of your jet ski. I can remember playing the game at the start when it just came out on PC and I played it in VR. I couldn't see much. I was just going nowhere. I was just crashing into stuff. It was crazy. This is the best thing about GTA 5. Just like the graphics of this game. And it's an open world game. You can go wherever you want. And that's great. You can even play the single player and just go and play with Franklin or Trevor or Michael. You can do it. You can just live the dream of this game and that's cool. So this is my ship. It is so big. So let me uh, go back to the back. There we go and I just uh, fell off my jet ski. Nice landing though. And now we are inside of my ship and I can tell you I got a bar. That's right. We can get drunk here. So let me show you that. I can hear a TV. Oh, my TV is on. Yes. My ship also has a TV. That's right. So here is a lady that can uh, offer us a drink. She sounds French. That's fine. Of course. So let's drink some. And this is just an animation. I am not looking around right now. It doesn't work. It's an animation. That could make you sick when you look around. So just sit still and don't move. That's why you see me not moving a lot when I play GTA 5 in VR. Because most of the time I'm just using my mouse. So if I, for example, want to walk through the left door here... I could do that with my hat, like this. And if I want to walk through the other door, it's going to be a problem. Because look at this. Now I have to look this way. That's why I am not looking around that much when I play the game. I'm using my mouse. So there is one last thing I want to talk about before we go. And that's the performance on the game. So when you play this game on normal settings, in terms of graphics, you will hit around 85 FPS. That's right. And when you uh, play it on high settings, you will get around 75 FPS. So it isn't that bad. But I would just go for normal because you need all the frames to get like a nice experience. So yes, if you got any questions left, just let me know that in the comments below. And that's it for today. So let's jump to the outro and let's end this video. Let's go. So that's how you play GTA with the Vive or the Oculus Rift. And yes, hopefully you learned something from this video. I am not really into tech talking. But I hope it was, uh, well, useful. So yes, if you need more information, there is also a lot of stuff in the description. Go check it out. If you still got questions, just let me know them in the comments below. And that's it for now. And as I always say, and I see you guys next time. See you in the metaverse. Yes. I am really hyped for GTA 6 as well. Hopefully it will get like native VR support. Then we don't need all this stuff anymore. <laughs>